This is question set 4 on average. Question 1. The average weight of A, B and C is 45 kgs. If the average weight of A and B is 40 kgs and that of B and C is 43 kgs, then what is the weight of B? Okay, so let us assume that the weights of A, B and C are A, B, C respectively. So the average weight of A, B and C which is given is 45 will be equal to A plus B plus C divided by 3. Let us write that equation 1. Let us move on to the second statement. If the average weight of A and B is 40 kgs, okay, the average weight of A and B is 40 kgs. So we can write 40 is equal to A plus B by 2. Therefore, A plus B is equal to 2 times 40, that is 80. That is another equation that we've got. Next statement is average of B and C is 43 kgs. So 43 is equal to B plus C by 2. Therefore, B plus C is equal to 43 times 2 is 86. And therefore, we can write C is equal to 86 minus B. And we can put these two equations into equation 1 to get the weight of B. So let's do that. We can write, we have this equation 45 is equal to A plus B plus C divided by 3. So A plus B we know is 80. So we can write 45 is equal to a plus B is 80 plus C's value is 86 minus B. So 86 minus B divided by 3. So this can be written as, let's move this 3 to the left hand side of equals 2. We get 45 times 3 is 135 is equal to 80 plus 86. We get 166 minus B. Therefore, B is equal to 166 minus 135 and that is equal to 31 kgs. So the answer is option D. The average weight of a class of 24 students is 35. If the weight of the teacher is included, this average rises by 400 grams. So what is the weight of this teacher? Okay, so we have been given the average weight of the class of 24 students, which is 35. So we can write 35 is equal to the sum of weights of students divided by 24, which is the count. So from here, we can get the sum of the students weight, which is 35 times 24. And that comes out as if you multiply 35 with 24, you'll get 840. So we have the sum right there. Now what has been given is, if the weight of the teacher is also included in this sum, the average rises by 400 grams, which means the average becomes 35.4 kgs. So it is 35.4 kgs equal to this original sum plus the teacher's weight divided by count plus 1. So 24 plus 1 is 25. Therefore, sum plus T gives us 35.4 multiplied by 25 and if you multiply 35.4 with 25 you will get 885 but you know the value of sum which is 840 so you can write 840 plus T is equal to 885 therefore T is equal to 885 minus 840 which is equal to 45 kgs. So the weight of this teacher is 45 kg. The third question now. The average age of 8 men is increased by 2 years when two of them whose ages are 21 years and 23 years are replaced by two new men. What is the average age of these two new men? Okay, so let us assume that the ages of these two new men are X and Y. So let us calculate the average age of these eight men, which is A, let us assume it, is equal to 
the sum of the six men plus 21 plus 23 divided by 8. So this is the average of these eight men. Now if we replace these two ages 21 and 23 by x and y the average is increased by two years. So a plus 2 gives us sum of the rest of the six men plus x plus y divided by 8. And we have been asked the average age of these two new men which is x plus y by 2. We have to find this out. Okay now this can be written as if we move the 8 to the left hand side of equals to we can write 8a is equal to sum plus 21 plus 23. And this can be written as again if we move the 8 to the left hand side of equals to we get 8a plus 8 to the 16 equals to sum plus x plus y. Let's move this 16 again to the right hand side of equals to so we get is equal to sum plus x plus y minus 16. So we have this as common left hand sides of this equal to so we can write sum plus 21 plus 23 is equal to sum plus x plus y minus 16. So this sum and this sum gets cancelled out. 21 plus 23 is 44 minus 16 if we take it to the left hand side of equals 2 gets plus 16 equals to what remains is x plus y. 44 plus 16 is 60 equals to x plus y. But we have to find out x plus y by 2. So let us divide both left hand side and right hand side of equals 2 by 2. So x plus y by 2 is equal to 60 by 2 which is 30. So the average age of these two men is 30 years. The average age of a husband and his wife was 23 years at the time of their marriage. After 5 years they have a 1 year old child. What is the average age of the family now? Okay, let us assume that the age of husband and wife is H and W respectively at the time of their marriage. So the average age is 23 years. So 23 is equal to H plus W that is the husband's age and the wife's age divided by 2. Now after 5 years they have 1 year old child. So now the average age of the family can be written as let's say if it is A equals to husband's age is also increased by 5 so H plus 5 plus wife's age is also increased by 5 so W plus 5 plus they have a 1 year old child so plus 1 and now there are 3 members in the family so divided by 3. This is equal to H plus W plus 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11 divided by 3. This is equal to H plus W can be found out from this equation. So H plus W here is equal to 23 times 2 which is equal to 46. So this can be written as H plus W as 46 plus 11 by 3. 46 plus 11 is 57 by 3 and this is equal to 19 years.